Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the Hobo Life. Today, we're out in Bum Simulator once again, and I am excited. I think what we're going to be starting off with today is I want to move my base over to my new base so we can actually appreciate my giant box fort. So, yeah, I just want to focus on expansions today and hopefully getting deeper into the quest line once we figure that part out. Where am I right now? Okay, so, yeah, my... uh. My initial base is over here. I think I'm going to actually destroy this and move everything over there. That way I don't have to worry about defending two different bases. This is just too small at this point. But I do lose half my materials moving them over there. So I might keep my crafting stations here for the time being. I want to move my dudes over though. That's for damn sure. All right, so we're going to demolish that. Ooh, I don't even know if we get all of it back that's all right it's easy to come by we should be able to make these guys quickly i love how i'm just demolishing bums by the way okay and there's just so much more room here so what i'm gonna do is just line the hobos down this wall here that way i can quickly do them because it was really tight in my other area and it just took too long to collect all of their materials so we should be able to build quite a few right now all right, welcome, my crew. Enjoy your new area atop this wonderful location. Ah, uh, wow, we can still build quite a few. <laughs> never, this never gets old. Okay, well, I need wood right now, so I guess I'll get them to do that. What I'm also going to do, if you remember, we have this whole issue here. I don't need this this big anyway, so I was just going to demolish all of this. What's weird is some of these things... Oh, man, did I screw up? I can't actually demolish these now. Why? Like, some I can demolish, some I can't, because other things depend on it. We might need to rebuild a lot of this. Oh, is it the freaking lights? Is that really what the issue is? No, it's not. I'm very confused now. So, yeah, not really sure why this is happening. Kind of a bummer. I'm a little worried about building up. We might run into these random building issues again. What I think I'll do is use this as kind of, like, storage over here, I guess, and I'm going to have to rewall this off. Okay, so yeah, that's better than nothing. We'll find some use for this. And I just have an extra door here as well, which is great. Because the more doors I have, the better. Because this guy seems to like to block doors. Anyways, let's go to my dudes and collect some of these resources. Thank you, everybody. You guys are fantastic. And with that, it looks like we can build three more for now. So, of course, we're going to continue building my little empire. Oh my god, I can't believe I did a whole wall already. Now, do I go this way or do I wrap back? I'm not too sure yet, but we'll worry about that later. We don't need to do it right now anyways. Let's just recruit. Looks like we can hold only one more anyways. We're going to have to go save some more creeps from the bugs because I need some more, damn it. I need all the resources I can get. I want to build an empire up here. But yeah, I just got them to do some money runs because, well, why not, right? And <laughs> look at that, just like that. We now have $134. Well, actually, to be more specific, $149 in the bank. All right, so I'm going to go back. I need to melt some metal down, and we'll slowly bring the rest of my tools over here. Oh, <gasps> there she is. Okay, so why is it not on my map? Oh, it's a yellow dot. Every other quest has been, had a letter, so I just assumed the yellow dot wasn't important. We'll you do that like later. I'm really focused today. on moving my stuff right now. Uh, so at least we know where it is. Okay, so let's get to moving the stuff over here. First thing we're going to want is a workbench. I'm thinking I don't want to use the upstairs too much. We just don't need the room, and it's annoying going up there, especially with an inventory that can't get up. You ate? as you can see down there. So I want to keep everything nice and close to the bottom. I might even use this garage for a lot of the stuff, but I think I'll put it in here. I have to see if this floor lamp can also light this place up because this uh, darkness is driving me nuts. If this doesn't work, I don't know what to tell you guys. Turn on. What is up with the lighting in this game? Come on, that can't be any better. I cannot see a damn thing at night. All right, well, I'm not going to waste my materials on lighting right when now. We're just going to have to work ate? in the darkness during the nighttime, I guess. I'm putting my aluminum smelters outside just because it gives me more space, more lighting, especially when I got to deal with the wood and scrap and I throw them everywhere. They're going to be hard to find. I think I'm going to do uh, quadruple. Or four, uh, this time just because I want to make the scrap really, really quickly. 
Uh, oh crap, that uses ceramic though. I forgot about this resource of ceramic. That's the one thing I can't make myself and I still have to probably use a lot of that over here. Now, the one thing I do want to bring over, does this use ceramic? No, it doesn't. Fantastic. All right, so we're going to put our coops. I think we'll put them over in this back wall. We're going to have to re-upgrade them, I think. I think if I demolish the other ones... Yeah, uh, I'm going to lose the resources. I haven't demolished them yet, though, so I'm trying to move everything before I demolish them. All right, I don't think I even had the Pecker's Coop, so we got that now. I know it's really dark in here. And yes, we have a new Peckers, skill. the perfect distraction. <laughs> if you're in a tight spot and want to buy some time, just throw them into some faces and watch the enemies run away from their oh, sharp the innuendos. and flapping wings. Upgrading the Pecker's will let you target a larger area. Oh and God. eventually unleash mayhem on everyone around you. And I was reading the comments. You guys say Pigeonado is actually really good when you max upgrade it. So we'll probably try and get that done sooner or later. But yeah, there's all my coops. Finally, sun's coming out so we can actually see. Um, yeah, that's a good placement for those. I'm not going to get into alchemy yet just because I don't really need it. So I don't know what else I really need. Obviously, the garden stations, but I think we'll wait for that. This is looking nice and organized. I like this. We're going to start demolishing some other stuff and bringing them over. Okay, there we go. So that is pretty much everything. We have some storage over here I have to move. Uh, am, I, am I full? I must be full. All right, let's just take another swiggy poo just to get rid of some stuff. Because I would rather have wood over there. So, yeah, I just have uh, gardening stuff here I'll grab later. But that is everything. What's in here? Oh, we just have a repair kit and that clover that I found. Of course, we need some defensive structures. I wonder, actually, can I put those up here, you think? That would be a good spot for it, I'm assuming. I don't have to ever have to reload it. So, yeah, especially considering they come up right here. That should be good. We'll put one... Oh, that, that's all my scrap right there. Okay, so we'll grab some more scrap. Okay, so there we go. Two should be good enough for right now. I want to see how they attack if they randomly spawn up here or whatnot. We'll definitely put more defenses back here if that's the case. But if they don't, we may as well just kind of focus it right here because this is the only way up. Okay, so one thing uh, that we're going to have a problem with again is this demolish thing. I can't seem to demolish any of this. I wonder... I mean, we'll just waste some money. Yeah, as you can see, I don't know what I would need to demolish to get rid of these. I'd like to get rid of those so I can connect ladders together, but we might have to move the ladders around as we go up each floor. Not a big deal. This is honestly more for show than anything else, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping I can make this still look decent as well. Be nice if I could get rid of these castle walls. I don't want this to be a castle at all, but I think we're just going to have to deal with what we got. So yeah, these are going to be very ugly for floors. This is to just show I am the bum god in this game. I want to build as I want to build the highest structure in this game if we can. Sooner or later, that is. We should be able to do floors pretty quickly, though. Now, I want to see if I can connect these ladders together. I couldn't do it on the bottom floor, which is going to look bad. But if we can connect them together on each floor, obviously getting up to the top would be very easy. So hopefully this works. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, so it's not going to look bad. We're just going to have a little bit of a step going from floor one to two. And then we should be able to do a ladder all the way up. So the only other issue I have is, if you remember, you need uh, structural support. So we're going to need some sort of wall column right in the middle here. I think I might just square this off and blockade it with, you guessed it, more cardboard just all the way up. I do have to say the building in this game, fantastic. When it's not glitching out, of course. Okay, I can't build there. Oh, no, that's just because I don't have any cardboard left. All right, so we're almost done the next floor. <laughs> we're nearing the top of the small buildings. We got one giant building in the distance. Oh, God, I take fall damage. That's right. Okay, we're going to have to be careful there. And now I should hopefully, yes, be able to finish up the roof, which is exactly what I wanted so we don't fall through and kill ourselves. All right, I guess we'll just add a few more windows here and whatnot until we run out of resources. Okay, and there we go. So yeah, pretty much all of this floor is almost done too. <laughs> this is too easy. Okay, let's finally get on to some questing here. It's been a while, and I finally get to meet Officer Alex. Hey, cutie. Uh, a little mouse told me that you could help me, so I can help the little mouse in return. Okay, I didn't expect that, but cool. boys out there, really nasty ones. They think the police can't touch them, but I can, and I will. With your help, of course. Uh -huh. No, not evil way. They're not the only big rotten banana in the bunch. One good-looking politician is taking bribes <laughs> in exchange for illegal construction permits. 
He demolished an animal shelter and is now overseeing the construction of a casino in its place. He has friends in a police department. I'd lose my job if I approached him directly. However, if you bring him here, well, let's just say Officer Alex will show him how a helpless doggy feels. <laughs> The zoom in. Okay, well, I guess we're going to the construction site now to bring him over there. All right, I've been here before. This is where I went to get away from the cops. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, so I have to go through construction workers to get to him. So now I'm just fighting all the construction workers. Fantastic. It's a good thing I upgraded my shuriken. I don't think it's as strong as it once was, though, so this could be a little challenging. Actually, you know what? Let's let's try the old peckers out. <laughs> oh, I haven't used this one yet. This is great. There we go. Peck them out. Oh, 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 my God. Okay, good thing I have my shuriken skill. Because <laughs> without this, I would be screwed. This is the first actual difficult one. Uh oh, uh oh, I see him up there. Fortunately, his henchmen are in front of him. No, oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh my god. Thank god this explosion doesn't seem to affect me. Yes! Level 12, too. All right, I have taken a little damage, but so far, so good. And there he is. I think that's everybody. Never mind, I lied. All right, I knocked him down. Now I knocked him out. Okay, finally. Hello, sir. Am I supposed to just kill you? I'm gonna do it with my peckers, damn it. That didn't work. Okay, I think I'm Get supposed to talk to him. Dirty pig. <laughs> the police are on their way. We have no time to lose. Jump! <laughs> what is this? Assassin's Creed bum edition? Quick, throw him on top of me and let's fly. All right, come here, buddy. <laughs> Am I actually supposed to put him on top of you? <laughs> oh, that's one way to move him, I guess. All right, Officer Alex, here he is, all, uh, well, knocked out for you. Good ya. job. You made the world a better place. When the time comes, I'll gladly help you get inside the Evil Way building. Oh, well, there we go. Simple enough. It's nice to know that I'm not the only one fighting the good fight. If punishing criminals excites you as much as it excites me, then come pay me a visit sometime. Okay, well now we're working with Lady Justice. Fantastic. That wasn't so bad. All right, so that's done. I think I'm going to get back to building. I don't want to go too far down the quest line because I'm really enjoying the building in this game and uh, I want to move everything over. I got to get into copper smelting. I might even get into cooking as well. If we have time later, we'll check out more of the quest line. But yeah, I'm just really focused on... <laughs> it just looks so good. Just building my giant building. Uh-oh. Am I at the top? I was... I accidentally built this out here, and there's no build mode up there. I think... Don't tell me there's a limit. You can't do this. To, it is. It's the top. I wonder if I could make it bigger from down here. Yeah, I can't actually build any higher than this. No! My dream of having the largest structure in this area has been ruined. Well, we still got a big tower, just not as big as I hoped for. Damn it, I hate building constraints. That's honestly a huge bummer. My whole goal was to build a freaking bum empire. I mean, I still got one, but it's just not as big as I wanted, damn it. <laughs> Let's see it from the outside. Maybe it does look good. I mean, that's a tower. It's not as big as I wanted, but that is a goddamn tower. So to upgrade my Pigeonado, we got to get into copper smelting, something I haven't done yet. So I'm going to do that now. These guys are out collecting for me. Just came back. Perfect time. All right. But now, yes, we can build the copper smelter. Now, I don't need much copper, so I'm just going to build one for now. I'm going to move that gun later, probably. We'll build it on this side. Dude, that looks so much cooler. I love it. Does it work the same as the other one? I assume so. We just got to put scrap in it and wood. Thank you very much. Moving up in the world with the wonderful we copper. Really need it. Um, that's the recycle bin. Don't want to do that. Copper pipes takes two. Okay. All right. So we'll make that copper pipe and Pigeonado upgraded first time. There we go. I love the upgrade animation. What do we need next time? More pipes, aluminum sheets, and nails. Simple enough. Oh, I don't have to throw it at it. I just have to hold it there like an idiot. God, how many episodes am I in and I didn't learn that? I, I I can smell so much faster. And you get one, you get one, you get one. This is so easy when they're, when they're in the, when they're in a line. I can just drag it. 
and go. This is <laughs> this is so fun. I wish I put the other one closer. Look at that. They're all on. Did I miss this one? Yeah. Okay, that should be everything. I don't know if this is the final upgrade or if we need one more or two more. I don't think I've ever maxed upgraded somebody, something, so... Oh, crap. I, I ran out of wood. I think I should have eight over here, hopefully. <laughs> I have nine. All right, we're going to do a wood run. That's enough for this. Pigeonado upgrade. <laughs> it's got two crowns now. That's it. Oh, okay. So we don't have to worry about that. I can't wait to try this out now. It should be more disastrous. We did so much today. So I was reading the comments, and the main reason why I wanted to upgrade this is you guys told me this thing can lift cars. Volunteers willing to help me. Oh, my God. It can. What an insane freaking upgrade all right hold on guys come on there you go oh <laughs> yeah it's safe to say this is a good skill now oh man we got more we got tasers coming in sorry dudes <laughs> i know we are i don't care anymore i am indestructible this is what it's like to feel like a god i can probably do this in one shot can i hello friends fly away I love that the creep doesn't even get affected. I owe you big time. It's <laughs> so easy now. All right, let's finally go see the rats too and uh, get deeper into this quest line. So we'll see what we got to do next. Back to the plan then. We now have a way in, but we still need a way out for evil way personnel located near the machine. I may have found such a way, but we will need to get on a good side of a certain hot dog man. You'll Working find with the, the hot beach. dog men too? Help him out, and when the time comes... He'll surely return the favor. All right. We'll help out the hot dog man in the next one. We'll definitely focus more on questing then. I've been really focused on building, obviously. I wanted to build one more thing before the end of this episode. And it's something every homeless person truly wants. And that is a shower. Now we have the bum wash or the simple shower. I think they're the same thing. The bum wash looks a little more fancy. Oh my God, is it like a car wash? That's so wrong. Oh, I love it though. I need it. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit in here now though. I have to have the bum wash outside. Wait, can I put it in my garage? That'd be hilarious if it fit. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well, I was going to use this space for like storage and everything, but now it just feels like a giant car wash, except it's a bum wash. Can I actually use it? Oh my god, I have a bum wash. Why don't we have these in real life? Honestly, probably better than a shower. This is fantastic. All right, I don't know if we'll keep that thing, but I just wanted to see what it was all about, and now I'm nice and squeaky clean. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Bum Simulator. I was hoping to build a little bit of a bigger tower, but hey, I guess we'll just have to accept this because I can't go any taller even if I wanted to. So yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking. I'll see you in the next one.